Hello friends, it's Kat from Adventures in Succulents. Welcome to those who are new to my channel and welcome back to those who've been here before. We are just having a little stroll around the neighborhood and just checking out the flowers and the, the different landscaping of our neighbors. It's a beautiful day. It happens to be Palm Sunday. We just got home from church and had a little brunch with the fam bam. And now we're out here just walking off those calories. So if you want to see what kind of um, gardening and specimens are out here in our little neck of the woods, stay, stay and keep on watching. Uh, this house, oh, I love this house. Check it out. This is like a Japanese garden. You've got some Crassula ovata over here. You have some um, Euphorbia fire sticks over there. Gorgeous. And some Ioniums. Look at this. Sedums. Ooh, beautiful. took a lot of time and care and now they don't even have to take as much care because succulents are very easy to take care of. Gorgeous. Let's keep on walking. Ooh, look at the pretty flowers. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Poppies and ice plants. Succulents are ice plants. The drip system, um, so Mexican clay pottery, very easy to take care of. So I gotta do some weeding over here. Our Echeveria giblet still going strong, but lots of weeds because of the recent rains and the cool weather. I think it. I just couldn't get myself to come out here. The weather's warming up. I've overheard that uh, the forecast for this week is going to be in the 80s. And it's Holy Week. So, time to sacrifice and do some weeding. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and head to the backyard and see what I can do today. Maybe I'll Caught up some arrangements we got at our local thrift store and through the recent estate sales that we went to with my mom and Lisa. And let's see what we can come up with. If I am finished, I will share with you guys. So thanks for walking with me. Six of the containers I uh, we picked up recently this past week or two weeks ago, and the weather is really nice today, so I'm out in the garden. I'm going to go ahead and you know see if I can create some succulent arrangements in these little pots here. This one is a white pot with with hatch markings, really cute. 
that I think it was made in China totally today. This is a cute little shape here. This was made by Chartres out in Mexico. Another one, Woodhill. As you see, there's not any holes on these. I painted in Portugal. So when we, when I'm going to water, whatever succulents are in here, it's very sparingly. Uh, the soil would have to be dry between waterings so that it, the roots don't get overwatered. So there's no markings on this one. And this huge mug, mustard-colored mug. Not sure what the brand is, but Momentum Brand, distributed by Momentum Brands, made in China. And usually, I try to make sure that there's no like antique value or vintage value before I put the pots or succulents in the pots, only because of the the wear and tear of the moisture that's gonna it's gonna go undergo the sun exposure. But they're just really nice cute little pots to start sucking on And then I just wanted to share this bench. My husband put this together. We got it at Amazon and put it together for my mom because we just needed some extra storage and a surface area to do her gardening also. So I love it because it has a little drawer here. Ta-da! And a little latch to open a little cabinet. So if she's going to store her seeds, you can put it in Tupperware so that way it's protected from any future rains. Oops, I think I pushed it too much. There. So on the side here, you got some hooks, so you can hang a uh, little shovel, little rakes, little tools. Alright, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, the succulents did really well over the winter, winter temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking some cuttings from them. That way it can create some space between the existing succulents. It'll give it a little airflow from them. And then it can reserve, the mother plant can reserve some of its energy and start making new plants as well. So this little patch has been overgrown. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can Grab a few cuttings here. Here also, maybe more here. I can see them with some trimming. My warpias that I planted a few months ago, they're doing well. Starting to have their own babies again. to give them a little trim. Even with the winds, some of these have broken off. Look at that. Really long and leggy. This is my friend's um, Aeonia. It's still at her house. Hopefully one day she's going to take them back. But I don't mind. I don't mind taking care of them for her. I don't know. It's 
This one keeps falling over so it's so long. It really needs to be trimmed. The leggy ones. And this is my other corner of Aeonians and Echeveria Fred Eyes. I went crazy over the winter. I love it. The cooler temperatures. And if you remember my last video, the summer during the summer, it was it had gone dormant, but right now they're all wide awake. Get some eating here earlier. So this is the little side gate that I, I mean side of the yard. I put in the sedum praeltum with some Aeoniums and the Echeveria Gipiflora because they just love to reproduce. Spread them out. So our yard is looking a little scraggly. Look at this little lizard. Scraggly because it's been winter and I kind of was hibernating from the garden. This I put in the corner as well from cuttings. And it's doing really good. They're wide awake. Look at that. Red Ionians. And the soil here is very rocky. But it's still doing good. Another Echeveria, Ubiflora. An avocado tree. This is our loquat tree. Here's our big tree, starting to buds. This is um, our jujube, still a staple. Well, actually, no, I do see some buds on here. So this one is starting to wake up. It's spring and all. I love jujubes. So, with that said, Let's see what we can get started with those little pots and arrangements. And I am going to gather up some cuttings. See you in a bit. So here are the finished products. Actually, I finished these last night. But today is the next day after I did them because I lost my lighting. It was already nighttime. But I just wanted to share with you these cute little pots with my sucky salads in the succulent containers. So. Bowlfuls of joy, these succulents. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them uh, without watering for probably the first week because these were fresh cuttings. And because there is no hole, um, and I didn't wait for it to callus over, so those are, that's the main reason why I'm not gonna be watering for the first week just so that uh, we don't get any rot on these little sucky babies. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. And um, I hope you get to spend a little time in your garden today. Y'all have a great day and a blessed Holy Week.